Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, a new Let's Play. It's called, uh, well, a Let's Play of a new game that is, duh. It's called The Dark High Chains of Satinav. Now, um, ignore this return to game. I was testing my audio, obviously. Um, but uh, I was uh, I was really thinking of making a Let's Play of this game, especially because it's a pretty good adventure game, you know? It has very beautiful art style, very beautiful soundtracks. Um, as well. And there is uh, two of these games. The first one is obviously this one, and the second one is actually called Memoria, which I think I will also play maybe after this one. And uh, yeah, I pretty much enjoyed both of them, so um, I wanted to make a Let's Play, especially because there's it's not really widely known among the English community. That At least that's what I feel like. So I really wanted to give it some attention in the English community. So anyway, uh, I believe it's time to start a new game. Start a new game, of course. Now, this game, unlike most adventure games, has some hint system that's actually more or less effective. Um, I think I'm gonna start out that way so that you'll see the tutorial, uh, and then maybe, I don't know, I can turn it off anytime I want in the settings, so... Uh, we'll start off just so that you would be aware of, of what we're able to do, and stuff like that. Who has the power to outwit their own fate? As long as the gods steer the ship of time, there's one thing that's certain. The chains of Satinav will not break. The days were happy for dreamy Andergast. Peace with archenemy Nostria seemed to be within immediate reach. Nostria's queen was about to pay a visit. In order to prepare for the joyful occasion, the king had called the young lads of Andergast to take up a cheerful challenge. Oh, cheerful, my butt. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look cheerful at all. <laughs> <coughs> the oak leaf. He doesn't let go of the vicious dog. Dogs are much smarter than that, Ulfried. They roll on their backs when they know they've lost. How about it, Geron? Are you giving up? <laughs> Give him some air for a bit so he can make himself heard. Okay, well, this short beginning part is the tutorial. So it says, obviously, right click means examine. Left click is actually interact, like talk or take items or whatever. So we can t uh, see this guy, obviously, we see the name whenever we hover, so that's how we know when objects are interactable, much like any other adventure game. And uh, if you have the hint system enabled, or at least specific hints, if you hold space, you'll see the glowing dot thingy appear. It means that you can interact with it, either by examining it, or talking, or there's an action to be performed, or something like that. So yeah. So, let's just examine him first. You can stare at me with those sorcerer's eyes of yours as long as you want. I'm not leaving until I've got that oak leaf. Well, apparently we are a sorcerer. <laughs> uh, he, he called us that. Either that or he's, be, uh, he's uh, using that as a metaphor, I guess. I will... <coughs> <coughs> What's that? I'm having trouble understanding you. I will prevail. No, Birdcatcher, you will lose. I'll explain the algebra to you. You'll have to find four copper oak leaves to win the contest. I, on the other hand, need four oak leaves made of brass. At the moment, you're just one oak leaf ahead of me, and given that Ulfried here will soon rid you of this oak leaf, you're at least one leaf short of victory. Or do you still think you can free yourself? Okay, so this is all about some kind of a contest that requires oak leaves, <laughs> more or less. Uh, okay, so let's examine the hammer. 
The hammer won't help you one bit. We'll see about that, pretty boy. We'll see about that. My hammer? Never mind him. <coughs> Why don't you just give up, bird catcher? Bird catcher? Ooh, interesting. The hammer is now in your inventory. Drag the cursor to the lower edge of the screen to open the inventory, which is duh, this. There's also the buttons for the journal, I guess. Uh, I don't know what this one does, but this is the main menu. And there's a hammer. And we have something else over here, too. I don't know what it is, yet. At least I could rid Ulfried of the hammer. And you can examine items from your inventory. And I guess you can occasionally see or say something um, different about the said item. So let's use it on this guy. Will you stop? Just imagine if the bad luck charmer wins and gets received by the king. Help me out here, Ulfried. What did the blind seer say back then, before he was burnt at the stake? That Geron is evil. I believe he said that Geron will bring us great misfortune. You have to consider the exact wording with prophecies, Ulfried. <coughs> what if Geron curses us? They say he's got the dark gift. Nonsense. <coughs> Okay, I guess now I understand why they really want so badly to get the oak leaves. First of all, because our lovely main character has not the best reputation, at least among these two. Either that or they're just your, you know, your typical arch nemesis slash bullies or something. I mean, they seem to be like that. Uh, and second of all, if you, you probably, you could have missed it, but he said that the winner gets received by the king or something. He said, he, said, he, said, he said something like, imagine if he won and got received by the king. So I guess uh, the winner gets to actually meet and talk to the king. Hmm. And I guess that's a really big motivation for a lot of people. Okay, so it says Garon has minor magic talent. He can smash items with sheer willpower. Click left on the jug icon next to the inventory bag, then blah, 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 blah. Uh, it, it's talking about uh, this thingy. But first, let's uh, check the jug. Perhaps I'll consider giving you a sip later on, as a consolation for your defeat. Huh. You want the jug? This wine is only meant for the victor of the challenge, which would be me. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, um, no one will be getting the wine, I'm sorry to say that. <sighs> what the? Stop it! Do you want to bludgeon him to death? Just take the oak leaf and let's go. Yes, they were indeed happy days for Dreamy and Agast. Only a few foresaw that soon nothing would be the same as it had been before. I don't think they were quite happy days, especially for our character. What have you done to the cage? <sighs> Leave it there. I'll fix it later. Gwynling, I didn't break it. Yes, yes. It was Olgid and his farmhands. They ambushed me and took my oak leaf. You know, the one for the oak leaf challenge. Hmm. You hear? They destroyed the cage, not me. That... it can't be. But you know what? I'll win the contest anyway. I'll take back my oak leaf and I'll win. And then no one will taunt me anymore. What are you doing there anyway? Geron, this nonsense isn't gonna lead anywhere. I don't want to spend my whole life... Being just a hunter and a trapper like me? Without a cage, you're not even that, you know. Ah, interesting. Now we know our guys' profession. Geron's profession over here. And I guess you're like our... Like, trainer? <laughs> like, uh, how do you say? Like, Garen is your apprentice, I guess. It's more like it. There you go. We figure it out, guys. Okay, so we have a bunch of things to talk to this guy, obviously. Uh, let's start... Oh, exhaustion. Let's start with your exhaustion, because I think that's very important. You seem tired. Why don't you go to bed? Those dreams, they eat away at me and consume me. And those crows... Those horrible creatures, they already feasted on the dead knight Alderic's flesh. 
something's afoot. Are you sure about that? I, I mean, crows naturally uh, eat uh, dead things, so... Um, and by the way, what the heck is he doing with the crows? He's, like, doing an autopsy or something? Um, yeah, dark premonitions. What dreams are those? Eyes keep staring at me. Blind eyes. Like in the days when the seer was still alive. What do you mean by that? Nothing. They're only dreams. See? That's what I mean. Okay, well, fine. Let's talk more about the crows, and then we'll talk about the rest. The crows prevent you from sleeping. They're watching us. Don't look into their eyes. They look right into your soul, Geron. I'm not afraid of a bunch of crows. Until you hear the wings of Golgaris swoosh by. Who says that Boron's soul bird can't be put in a cage as well? How did Knight Alderic die? He was murdered. The old man? Why would anyone do that? Who knows? But he was one of those who finished off the seer back in the day. Gwynling the seer has been dead for a long time now. Yes, yes. Will you please stop brooding over that seer already? He was burnt at the stake, right? Thirteen years ago. Because he foresaw King Gwendolyn's death. That's not the reason why. He abducted children. Nobody knows why. Be that as it may, he had sinister plans for Andergast. He ordered legions of crows to conquer the town, or to destroy it. At least that's what they say. And that's why you're rummaging through the innards of this bird? His crows brought dark dreams with them. Enough of those horror stories. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about the cage now and then. I guess we'll get back to crows. <laughs> Can you fix the cage? Guess I'll have to. We're going to need it still. Do we have a new job? Job, he says. Before any of those hicks even begin to notice what's about to hit them, it'll be far too late. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the crows, Geron. The crows. Okay. What's up with that dead crow? I want to know what brought them here. That's easy. Winter is near. It's looking for warmth. Hmm. It's chock full of black bile. Oh, well, that isn't, um, I mean, unless it's like some kind of a dirt or it's a diseased crow or something, but still, um, yeah, good luck with that. Once I've won the oak leaf challenge. You're only earning scoffs and sneers for yourself. The victor will be honored by the king. Everyone remains in the place meant for them. When will you finally accept that? Will you help me with the oak leaf challenge? Leave me alone with your tomfoolery. I've got more important things to do. Those crows will still be here tomorrow. The challenge only lasts today. Oh, okay, so the deadline is already upon us. Oh, goody. Um, I'm curious, is he gonna say the same thing? Will you help me with the oak leaf challenge? Leave me alone. I've yeah, got okay, he says the same thing. Well, goodbye, um, forgot your name. I have to run. My rivals aren't sleeping. Your name, Gwynling. Very unique name. Also, FYI, this is actually a German game. It's Yes, it's a German adventure game. And also, fun fact, uh, if I remember correctly, it's actually based on a real tabletop game. You know, kind of like D&D or... Uh, what were the other ones? Like Vampire, the Masquerade Universe? Um, not the Vampire, the Masquerade. Uh... Uh, the World of Darkness, I think it's actually called. But still, it's something akin to those games as well. Uh, so yeah, um, just wanted to let you know, FYI, that's a fun fact. And by the way, this is not, if you haven't noticed, this is not, like, light fantasy. <laughs> this is more of a dark fantasy. Um, so yeah. Let's see what Garen has to say about Gwynling. He looks completely tired out. He's been haunted by those nightmares for days. I'm beginning to fear he's losing his mind. Okay, that's all he says. Uh, I cannot say anything about the crow that's being picked on by your... By your guy... Uh, by your... What? Master, I guess? <laughs> by your master? Your your skill trainer. <laughs> oh, there's a painting, though. And it's blue, so... Wait. Yeah, it's blue, so that means... I forgot what it means. I think it's part of, like... I think it's part of the hint system, so... 
Maybe. I don't know. What's written here? The print is so small. What are you doing there? Don't you have a task to attend to? Um, yes, but I'll do it later. Gwyndling rummaged through the whole room yesterday to find this drawing. And as always, he said nothing about what it means. Well, that's that's the guy for you, I guess. Oh, you cannot look out the window. That's sad. I really want to. Ah, there's a cane. Gwynling's arthritis is getting worse and worse. Even with his walking cane, he doesn't leave his room much. Can I steal your cane? Oh, look, it disappeared. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. It's grey now, so he has nothing, any other interaction to do. I think that might be a little too much of a giveaway, so I think I'm gonna disable that in the settings. Okay, I think it's this thing. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna keep the hotspot. That might be useful, and I'll... Okay, I'll keep the hotspot. Everything else I'll disable. So return to the game. There you go, now it's normal. Okay, uh, steal the cane. I'll borrow your walking cane for a bit. Not for a bit, you'll borrow it forever and never return it. We know how adventure games go. You hoard everything and you never return it to the rightful place where you took it from. Okay, so apparently we have a glass bulb and yeah, the cage. What's brewing this time? A remedy for those damn crows, but without fairy magic. It won't be of any use. How do you know? How does the wolf know how to hunt? I told you to keep your hands off that. You'll probably just break it. Okay, okay, jeez, calm down. Olgird will have to suffer for this. Aren't you two friends? We haven't been for the last ten years. Oh, okay, so I guess you used to be friends. At some point, maybe. Oh, that's really sad. Oh well, take the cage. Can't you wait until I've fixed it? Oh, okay, never mind. Um, we cannot take it. Oh, look, we have a bunch of stuff with us already. Uh, we also have a net trap. Gwynling's latest design. It won't break the bird's wings now. Okay, we also have a dove's egg. Where'd you get that from? Since when? That's good bait for nasty poultry. The best trap for catching animals alive. I am duh, and I got four kreutzers. Not even enough for a pig's foot. You actually eat that? Um, good for you. <laughs> never ate. I never ate a pig's foot unless actually. You mean like literal foot, or you mean like the leg? I hope he means the leg because like. I need to get my third oak leaf back from Olgird, and I'll have to go to the castle gate and ask the chamberlain for the last riddle of the challenge. Okay. Oh, look, there's our oak leaf. Might as well take it, I I've guess. I've got two oak leaves. Olgird has the third, and the fourth one is still hidden. Let's go, then. Okay, take them. Okay, now we have all our oak leaves. That's good to know. They're copper. Okay, we have a clothes trunk. Oh, your parents. Well, I kind of thought that that guy wasn't your, wasn't your dad. He looked a little too old. Or rather, not too old, but like... I don't know, he didn't exactly feel like a parent would. He More like... A relative, maybe? I don't know. A guardian, I guess. Their picture is fading more and more. I hardly have any memories of them anymore. I'm going to succeed. You'll see. It's just that a few things aren't going the way they should at the moment, that's all. Okay, now I know where he got the dove's eggs, because they're here. All of them. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor doves. They'll be stuck in here forever. Too big for my possessions, if you come to think of it. Okay, it's unlocked, thank God. And you have a flute? I haven't played in many years. Well, I'll take it. Maybe you'll have to play it. For somebody, I guess. <laughs> or for some occasions. Maybe you'll be summoning, I don't know, creatures. <laughs> oh, a mini catapult. I'm going to operate a real catapult sometime. Peace with Nostria can only last for so long. It can't launch anymore. The string has rotted away. Okay, so if I want to launch, I need a string. How about you use a part of the net? Well, no. <laughs> Why? I thought so. That was a stupid idea. I get it. I get it, Geron. Okay, so this is the way up. 
The closet. Far too many things unfinished. Okay. Um. Is there any reason for me to open the closet? I'll be honest, I saw this thing <laughs> before I actually clicked on the closet. When Yindrik and I were still friends. Oh, he skipped over that. Yindrik's father forged that for me when Yindrik and I were still friends. Okay, thank you. I, My mouse gets this weird double clicking issue. And apparently clicking with a mouse accidentally can skip a dialogue, so I'm gonna hope for the best that it's not gonna happen. Hanging loose again, but I'll have to deal with that later. Oh, you can just use now. You have a hammer. Hanging loose again, but I'll have to... <sighs> Jesus, you lazy guy. I mean, on the other hand, you do have your competition thingy-majiggy to worry, so... Okay, well, let's leave the house then. Damn it, oh, it has to be somewhere. But the guard says he doesn't have it. Shut up. Geron's over there. He might eavesdrop. Okay, so obviously I have to talk to you two again. And wow, I live right next to the the pigs over here. Oh, what a nasty experience for Geron. Oh, I wonder, can he uh, examine? No, he cannot examine those arrows. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Okay, I can go this way, that way, and I believe this way. And oh, I can go up as well. I guess it's up. Or just into a, another house. The most cunning swine of the realm. At least the shoemaker doesn't let them roam free anymore. You stink. I guess they do. <laughs> I mean, this look at the flies. It doesn't look nice or or, or even good. It's just... Uh, oh, well, there's a troll, though. It's an easy life if you don't mind living in the muck. No way. Those things bite. I'd better not get too close. Can you throw? <laughs> you can throw the dove's egg, but I don't think that's a good idea. Or you can sing to the pigs, hey. Not sing, sorry. Play the flute to the pigs. They despise it, just like everybody else does. Oh, they don't like your music playing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Garon. Oh, there's a stick. What if a cartwheel rams it? Well, I guess as long as the barrels only come crashing into our house, no one will take offense. How about you just remove it now and uh, let the barrels crash into the house now? I'm getting too old for these kinds of pranks. Yeah, okay, never mind. A, a single rope for all the barrels? A single... Okay, sorry. A single rope for all the okay, barrels? Okay, he says the same thing. I get it, Geron. It's a single rope. Uh, how about you tell me more about this Ulfried? And Olgird. Without Olgird around, the farmhand is a rather friendly character. Well, not towards me, obviously. In order to outplay me, you'll need more than a ridiculous haircut. Okay, what'd you say in the beginning? Just you wait, Dyer's son. In order to outplay- Okay, you said just you wait. <laughs> Don't you think you've eaten enough mud for one day, birdcatcher? Or would you like Ulfried to provide you with seconds? <laughs> no, thank you. What can I do for you, my friend? Well, we're not friends, really. Not anymore, apparently. Uh, well, I'm not gonna reclaim the leaf just yet, I guess, but let's find the information first. Aren't you one of the Nostrians' fiercest enemies? So why do you participate in a challenge to honor their queen? I'm not doing it for that Nostrian broad. I'm only doing this for me. There will never be peace with that vermin. An alliance between Andergast and Nostria? That would be as natural as, uh, a flying frog? Witty. Give back my oak leaf. Or what? Or I'll curse the meatloaf so that he'll lose all of his teeth. What did I tell you, Ogird? Shut up, Ulfried. Get out of here, you little witch brat. We don't want to see you here in Andergast anymore. You and your curse will spell doom for us all. You and your superstition. It has been foretold. <sighs> My oak leaf doesn't even help you. You have to collect brass, Olgeard. Mine is copper. Yes, and at least you will not be the winner, because that would be the end of beautiful Andergast. We'd be up to our necks in pig snot. Nonsense. That would be the end of your superstitious blather. Woohoo! 
So the witch's brat wants to prove himself. <laughs> you are nothing but a bird catcher. Who are you then? <laughs> Some noble son? I don't think talking to him is, makes, uh, is any useful now, but we did find out that apparently this guy needs different type of leaves than we do. So we definitely have to take it from him somehow at some point. Beat it. Oh, you who? How about I just talk to Ulfried? He's all. No, oh, he just wants me to piss off. That's so bad. I don't play in front of an audience anymore. It only leads to unwanted consequences. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, let's go up. I think it's up. If I remember, yeah, it is up. <laughs> If I remember it. Well, if... the guard says he doesn't have it. What was the text in the riddle again, Ogid? Damn, can't you remember anything? In front of the castle stands a guard with his trousers and shirt, and in one of those two there's a leaf. I give you my word. There's a leaf? Yes, but he swore by Prios that he doesn't have it. Let me think. Oh, well, thank you. I overheard them now <laughs> because of that. Ooh, I can cut the rope. A single rope? Yeah, I know, for all the barrels. Obviously, he probably won't do that anymore, but... Okay, well, we found out that there's a riddle to the other leaf, and we know where it is. Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to find it because apparently it's in a guard's trousers or something like that. Okay, so we can go this way, that way, or that way. Which way do we go? Let's go this way. Hey, we're at the marketplace! Even the beggars think I'm weird. Good day, Andros. You're still not talking to me? Thought so. Aww. Ooh, Temple of Rondra. Rumor has it that the adepts of the Goddess of War don't think highly of the King's efforts towards peace. I mean, they're the gods of war, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't think they're quite in it for peace whatsoever. I'm still banned from the temple, humorless priests. Oh, <laughs> what'd you do? Did you make a joke about witchcraft or something? And they're like, no, it's real. Oh, that looks like a tavern or I guess a market. Oh, underclothes. Oh! <gasps> Maybe that's what I need. I need those things, probably. <laughs> okay, so we have this guy called uh, Jindrik. Jindrik just can't be helped, but that's the only thing we have in common. Good day, blacksmith. Sod off, bird catcher. I've got a lot on my schedule. Besides, even my best blades catch rust when you're around. Ouch. So, what's on your schedule? Don't play dumb, kid. I'm the blacksmith. There'll be jousts in town soon. Who do you think will tend to the dented suits of armor, polish the lances and sharpen the swords, huh? Someone who's good at those kind of things? Oh, shut your trap. What do you think? Who's got the best chance at winning the joust? I don't care either way. What I do care about is that the knights pay me handsomely for my services. This year, the all-time champion can't compete anyway, so the tournament doesn't make any sense at all, really. And who would that be, pray tell? Why, the Knight Bogumil Wraithling, of course. Never heard of him. Well, that's too bad. I wonder what the prize for the winner of the Oakleaf Challenge will be. How should I know? I guess you'll be knighted. You really think? Well, in case you win, I sure hope not. Hmm. We'll see about that. Keep on forging. Oh, shut up. What a rude guy. <laughs> Like everyone else, rude to poor Geralt, uh, Geron. Well, there's a tank guard. I can talk to the tank guard. Good to know. Don't think for a second that I'll give you some of my beer. I'll have to steal it? Hey, hands off. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll have to steal it at some point. Well, hey there, there's a lone pig over here. At least it will have one more good night's sleep. It doesn't know what the future has in store after all. Yes, probably lots of slaughter. Tomorrow it's off to the slaughter. Ah, thought so. Thought so. That's why it's over here and not with the other pigs, I guess. Hilda is as unwary as ever. The box doesn't even have a lock. Hilda will always be Hilda. She'll still be standing here in a hundred years. Okay, so good to know. 
I guess maybe she, she might be friendly. Old Zephyl's plum spirit. I wonder if he still fattens his pigs on it. Could be. They get the hiccups every day. Oh. So that means they, what, uh, fall asleep after uh, having some of that plum spirit? Hey, it's against the walls to take a peek. Oh, okay. Got it. Well, let's talk to you, I guess. Hello, Gyeong. Have you caught a lock for me yet? No, not yet. Come on, Gyeong. I have a feeling you're not trying hard enough for me. Nonsense. It's just not the right season for larks. You think I believe that? What do you want with a lark anyway? It should sing for me. What else? Of course. So I guess lark is a bird? First time I hear the word lark. So, I guess. Okay, so what do we have? Pot with lots, prize for the winner of the challenge. Yeah, let's go with the prize first. What do you think the winner of the challenge will receive for a prize? I guess the victor will receive a commendation from the king and will be able to parade around a medal. That's it? What do you mean? Have you entered the contest? Why not? My, you keep hanging in there, don't you, go on? What's in the big pot? Acorns. For the pigs? No, those are lots for the town fair, in honor of the Queen of Nostria. One draw is a kreutzer. And what are the prizes? I still have this straw puppet, this flask of plum spirit, and this wheel of cheese. The winner can choose the prize for themselves. I think the obvious choice is probably the plum spirit. <laughs> Quite busy, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that great? And this is just the beginning. All those strangers, the beautiful music. Finally, some life in Andergast. But have you heard of Magistra Dorata? The old hag who looks like her wand? Don't mock her. She's dead. Dead? Her eyes torn white right from their sockets, the same as Knight Alderic. That's weird. Yes. Isn't the minstrel's music to die for? Okay, well, since you started talking about music, let's get on to that. Do you like the music? Yes, I've been listening the whole time. Oh, how I'd love to go closer to the musician and watch him play. But unfortunately, I have to stay here and watch the lots. I wish he would play the song about the Bruin's Bride. I don't think I could hold myself back any longer in that case. Hmm. What's so special about this Bruin's song? Well, Geron, it's just so beautiful. Everything else seems so insignificant when I listen to it. You would have to listen to it for yourself if you want to understand what I mean. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to buy the lot yet, but let's try. We have three, we have four Kreutzers. So, I think we can try. I want to test my fortune. Well, Geron, are you sure? With your luck, I'll bet you'll lose. Don't you start as well. Here's your Kreutzer. <sighs> Damn. Will you be so kind as to put the acorn in this box? And please don't look so disappointed. Bad luck at gambling means good luck in love, right? Uh, maybe. Oh, question the odds is now an option. Has anyone ever won at all? Of course. What do you think I am? A cheat? Look, I put all the acorns that have already been drawn into this box. I've painted little patterns on the winning acorns. And as you can see, there is already one winning lot in the box. That means that there has in fact been a winner already. All right, all right. Interesting, okay. See you later, Hilda. See you. I and guess. Uh, lark. Thanks. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be catching a lark, but um, I'll try. I guess I need to make sure that she looks away. Oh, I guess Wheel of Cheese is an option as a straw puppet. Something tells me, though, I'll want the spirits. Did you make the puppet yourself? Do you like it? Well, it's uh, so so. Where did you get that giant cheese? I got it as a present. And now you're selling it off? Shh. <laughs> I've got my own garments. He got his own. Well, there's a doublet over here. <gasps> Maybe it's a doublet instead of the underclothes. There's also an apron. The times are so bad that people have to make do with pieces of clothing for town fair decoration. Ouch. Bad, eco uh, bad economy, I guess. I've got my own garments. How about you take the doublet? 
It, it, it looks like a Nice's, I think, duble, and it has a logo of a tree. Too far away. Too far away. I'll need... <laughs> you can try to use a net, I guess. I'll only get in trouble for that. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Well, anyway, there's a minstrel called Glee Man. <laughs> well, I don't know much about music. Greetings, minstrel. What might be thy name? My name is Fredhelm. What do you want? Fredhelm? As in Broderick Fredhelm? No, I'm afraid not. Just Fredhelm. But you don't have to be so damn formal. All right then, what is it? Is there anything you wanted to complain about? Okay, so I can, uh, let's ask him about the current song. What's the name of the song you just played? The ditty from Tors to Om. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, by no means, I was just curious. Where did you learn to play the fiddle? Taught myself. When I was a little boy, I used to watch very closely what musicians did with their fingers. And that is all? No. I drew the strings and frets onto a board with coal and practiced all the chords every day. I simply imagined the music. At some point, I finally got hold of a real fiddle, literally speaking. And since then, I've traveled the lands as a fiddler. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Can you play something different? You don't like my music, huh? Oh, but I do, I do. It's just that I'd like to hear a certain song. The song about the Bruin's Bride. Hmm. I haven't played that in a long time. Can't I play a different tune? Um, I think I'm gonna encourage you. Come on, you can do it, Fred Helm. These people aren't going to notice if there's some notes missing anyway. All right. And make it nice and loud, please, so that everybody in the marketplace can hear you. We'll do. A special request for this bird catcher here. What? Be careful, minstrel. When the bird catcher has requests, there's bound to be some damage. You can't know this, but he's gonna spell doom for all of us. Don't listen to them, just play. Oh look, now she's distracted. Well, Hilda, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm gonna... The go... lots that have already been drawn. Ah, this acorn here has a pattern. Okay. <laughs> I got the acorn with a pattern. So what do I do about this? Do I put it inside? Help yourself and Fex will be with you. If I absolutely have to steal, at least I shouldn't be taking something from right under her nose. Aha. Uh -huh. So do I have to break it? Oh no, I want to save. I don't want to do that, but I want to save. Because what if I screw up? Okay, we are gonna make a save right over here. There you go. Return to the game. Let's see how my magic fares. No. Hilda is the only one who tries to be nice to me. Okay, then don't do that, please. <laughs> uh, Hilda, how about I talk to you? Hilda? Hilda! <sighs> okay, I gotta talk to the minstrel. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Fred Helm? Yes. Even though it says Glee Man. I guess that's his actual last name. Uh, ask for some other song. You can play something else now if you want to. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I just thought maybe something happy and cheerful would be nice for a change. A drinking song, maybe. Well, all right then. But at some point I'll be done with your requests. Um, okay. Maybe. Dude, I'm not even asking much. Jesus, what a... Ah... What a, what, uh, why is everyone so mean to Geron? Ah, oh, Geron, what a wonderful song. Why don't you play your flute anymore? I'd let you practice in front of my window every night. Oh, please, no. I'd rather cut off both my ears than listen to that whining. Hmm, I'll think about it. <laughs> Probably to uh, spite that blacksmith guy. Okay, let's see uh, how uh, this is gonna work this time. I want to have another go. I'm sure I'll be lucky this time. No, you're only wasting your money. And you could let the others have their turn too. There are no others around at the moment, so please take the Kreutzer. All right, if that's what you want. 
Exactly. Now for a quick exchange with the winning lot. <laughs> hey! Yeah. I won. Bah! Witchcraft. Congratulations, Geron. What prize do you want? I think I want your plum spirit. Give me the plum spirit. Here you go. If you'd rather have something else, you can come and exchange it later. Oh, well, good to know, I guess. But uh, I, I think it's gonna mm, be done. Let me go poison the pigs now. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why I should do this, but I, um, I might as well try. <laughs> or rather, actually, no, I'll keep it. Maybe there's an actual hint in this game about what I, uh, what I need to do about the plum spirit. Now, I did not explore every single little thing. There's actually this side. The Academy of Magic. Well, at least I can smash clay jars. Excuse me, uh, you skipped. That's the place where I could have learned to hurl balls of fire at Nostrians. Well, at least I can smash clay jars. I'm not going to break in there again. I wasn't very fortunate last time. Ah, you already did that before. Yikes. <laughs> well, there's this... Um... Very important looking guy. Are you trying to make me uncomfortable with your stare yet again? You will not succeed a second time. Maybe I will, who knows? By now, you should have learned that you have no business here, bird catcher. Okay, so he is not talking to me. I wonder. Oh, well, there you go. I do have some entries. So I have... Okay, let's go with the first one. The Oak Leaf Challenge. King Efferdan is w is awaiting the visit of Nostria's queen, and Andergast is sprucing up for the town fair. In order to celebrate the occasion, the young Andergastians have been called to the Oak Leaf Challenge. An opportunity to show what I'm worth. There are four Oak Leaf shaped badges hidden throughout the town for every participant. Whoever finds his oak leaves first will be honored by the king himself. This cursed Dyer Olgird and his servant have once again obstructed my progress. They've stolen my third oak leaf. I have to get it back before some other bloke wins the challenge. And I have to find my fourth oak leaf too. There was something about the trousers. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then let's get the heck out of here. Bye! <laughs> There's not much I can do with a pig, too, so... Goodbye, piggy. Oops, uh, I clicked outside my window. <laughs> okay, go this way, Geron. Let's see what's here. Oh! This looks like another town square? Chamberlain New... Newcastle. Then we have Castle Guard. Okay, so this is where the king is, I guess. And there's a flagpole with a crank. Uh, more pigs, obviously. There are pigs everywhere, Jesus. Okay, I see ducks. Temple of Travia. The temple of the kind-hearted goddess. Yet not even there am I welcome. Really? Wow, that's really hypocritical of the... of the priests. I'm too occupied with other things right now, so I don't really want to pray. Okay, forget about praying then. Um... Okay, so the only thing I can really do is talk to these two guys and see the pigs. It's an easy life if you don't mind living in the muck. Okay, he says it's the same thing. <laughs> Go into... Tomorrow it's off to the slaughter. Okay, same thing for these guys. Oh, well. So, Olgird's oak leaf is hidden in Troger's doublet. But if Troger swears he doesn't have it, then he really doesn't have it. Oh, didn't we see similar shirt hanging on the clothesline? So I was right. It's probably not on him physically, but it's hanging with the clothes. Oh, that's clever, that's clever. Hello, Troger. Why are you loitering here, birdcatcher? You have no business in the castle. And why is it that everybody is staring at my belly today? I know good and well that I'm on the heavy side. Never mind. So, Olgird's oak leaf is hidden in Troger's doublet. But if Troger swears he doesn't have it, then he really doesn't have it. Yeah, I know, you said that when I examined him, but... 
Oh, I think I understand why we need this information. Because if we get Olgerd's leaf, we can exchange it for ours and get it back. And be like, well, you're going to be in the lead now, hey, hey, or something. Oh, this is actually pretty good deal for us, if you think about it. Well, let's uh, examine this guy. You can still tell that old Newcastle was once an army commander. Oh, well, fancy. You again? Complain for the oak leaf or prize. Um, I'm not going to complain yet. What's the riddle for the last oak leaf? It's as if the riddle for the fourth oak leaf was made especially for you. The sows at the north gate are peculiar beasts. On acorns they feast, yet show disdain for the leaves. Sows at the north gate, acorns, no leaves. Sounds easy. But why should this riddle be made for me? You'd better hurry before one of your rivals takes the prize. Wait, the beasts, the beasts under the northern gate. I mean, so far we all we have seen are pigs and some crows that I cannot examine except the one that's being, um, um, you know, lobotomized, not lobotomized, but what's the word? Um, dissected by, <laughs> by Garance's, uh teacher, master, whatever. What's the prize for the victor again? The victor will be honored by the king himself. What exactly does that mean? You have no business participating in the challenge if you can't appreciate that unworthy peasant. Hey, that's rude. Olgierd of the Dyers has stolen one of my oak leaves. What business is it of mine if you lose your leaves? But that's not fair. They outnumbered me. Well, let that be a lesson to you. I don't need any lessons. I'll get it back somehow. Well, that's uh, futile. I'll be back. I'll be back, mister. Well, I guess it's gonna be off to poisoning the pigs, eh? And I've no idea what to do about this thing, to be honest. That's a mystery to me for now. Okay, let's go poison the pigs with the plum spirits. <laughs> ah! I totally was right. Oh, look! Yeah, they're totally sleepy and backed away. Look at the bird catcher. Poor boy doesn't get enough food. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But here's the oak leaf. Ah, I was totally right. Now we have three. The only thing I need... Oh, and I got a blank acorn. Help yourself and Fex will be with you. Okay. Um, hmm. So, how do I get the thingy-majiggy? Uh, okay, let's go this way then. Oh, it leads back here? Hold on. Hold on, what about here? I'll go for a walk later. Now I have to concentrate on my task. Apparently this leads outside the town, so apparently this or this leads to the town square. Hmm. A walking cane. Can I combine it with something? I'd rather not. Oh, not the flute, sorry. That... I need to focus on the task. Okay, maybe I can just... Oh! With a walking cane, he should be able to reach the shirt, right? The Dublé. That's one of the town bailiff's shirts. There you go. What are you doing there? The beautiful decoration. I'm authorized to do that. Okay. Hey, there is indeed one of Olgierd's brass oak leaves. Let's see what the windbag has to say about that. <laughs> let's go, let's go talk to him. And brag about it. He, where's his brass leaf? There it is. Here, take your brass leaf and give me back mine. Look, Algird, an oak leaf of pure brass. It just fell in front of my feet. That must be the one from the castle guard. Where did you... <laughs> Why don't we just swap oak leaf for oak leaf? So that you can win? No way. If we don't, neither of us will win. There are other participants in the challenge, as you know. All right, then. 
How many oak leaves do you have already? As many as you have. Hmm. I see. All right, birdcatcher. This is your lucky day. We'll swap, but be warned, Geron. If you win the challenge, Ulfried will beat you to a pulp. Well, he better get some rest then. Yes. I've got all four. I should hurry to the Chamberlain. Okay, let's go. Off we go to the Chamberlain. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to talk to the actual Chamberlain in the next episode. So, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, um, this, is, this was nice uh, 50 minutes of the first episode. I really hope you enjoyed this. It's a very peculiar, interesting game. Um, most of its most of its puzzles aren't really that complicated. I feel like so. Um, it should be pretty enjoyable generally. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye bye.